Hello and welcome to my movies and games database. Um, before you guys seen my studio database where I've made tables for employees, holidays that they take off, pay type projects, teams, and they're all linked somehow. Um, but I needed to make my own database. So I kind of threw this one together real quick. F, you know, taking everything that I've learned back at, in the SQL class um, and looking back at some notes and everything, and I'm actually quite happy with myself that I was able to get this far. All the tables work well with each other. I've got primary keys going to foreign keys on other tables. N no errors, and when I, when I hit apply, it works perfectly for everything. I've even added information into each table. So basically, I did, for movies and games, I've got companies, games, movies, and studios. Games and studios go together, and then movies and companies go together. So the companies that make the movies and the studios that make the games. And I've got each one of them connected. So games is connected to studios. So if I go to the games table, let's move this one. See if I can move this one over. There we go. So game id and game id they're linked with the game id column row so for studios we've got blizzard ea nintendo rockstar and valve i also put down their location like a general it's not like a very specific one i just looked up where they're located uh revenue this is in like millions um i was going to try and do a float but i just wanted to do a whole number so this is just like around in millions, not exact, but this is what I kind of looked up. Um, and then for games, and I chose a game for each studio. So for number one, Nintendo, number one, Sports Resort, and then like the length, how long it takes you to complete the game, um, the genre of the game, and then the date it came out, Studios, uh, two, Valve, Left for Dead, GTA for Rockstar, Need for Speed Heat for EA, and then Black Ops for Activision, Blizzard, basically. I was thrown off on that, too. I don't know why, but I was thrown off on that, too. I saw Blizzard, and I'm like, wait a minute. And then I remembered Activision. I'm like, oh, okay. Um... Then for the movies, let's move these guys closer together. Movies and companies are linked by the movie ID row. Uh, so one of them is primary. The other one is foreign. So for the companies, we've got Columbia, Marvel, Universal Pictures, Walt Disney, and Warner. And then obviously we've got Fast Five, Dark Knight, Uncharted, Lion King, and Avengers. So Lion King for Disney, Avengers for Marvel, Dark Knight for... Oh, man, Warner Brothers, you know, and then Uncharted for Universal Pictures, I believe, and then Columbia was Fast Five. I might have mixed those up. But then the genre again, dates, um, movies and games. I was thinking about trying to connect the movies and games. Um, that's one thing that I need to do, just trying to connect the them through the genre. I think I can do that. So that's why I had that genre row, and then there's the dates they came out, and again, the same length of how long the movie is. And yeah, I just wanted to throw together, because I know I needed two database projects, So, and I'm glad I did this because it was a very good refresher on actually creating the database, I mean creating this workbench for the database, creating the database itself, creating the tables, making the primary keys, connecting them with the foreign keys and making sure it works like if we go to the screwdriver for each of these or wrench I should say because I made sure I did the right data type there was a couple times I got caught up because uh, um, it would be an int when it should have been a character or if it, or it was a character when it should have been an int like I, it kind of caught me and then I knew how to like remember to go to foreign keys to be able to set this up 
and when every time I hit apply for them, a couple of times I would get an issue, but most of the time I'd hit apply and everything would work out perfect. So for like games, game ID, primary key, and then foreign key, game ID for that. Companies, movie ID, game ID, movie ID, movie ID, foreign key, and primary key. And it all works. And I'm quite happy with myself that I was able to work through this, set up these tables with the information, and apply everything to them, setting up the primary keys and foreign keys, and actually having it work. So I'm, I'm really happy I was able to throw this together and make this work. And I hope you guys enjoyed. This has been my Movies and Games database.